three days worth of beard growth, and we're going to shave it off with a brand new razor from Lather and Wood. My thanks to viewer Chuck Price for the heads up on this one, and that's coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and watch haters everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new razor in the shave den. My thanks to viewer Chuck Price for the heads up on this one. Before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is from Lather and Wood. Well, let me back up a little bit. Viewer Mark Badwell very kindly and generously sent along Lather and Wood Shave Soap, the Sandalwood Scented Shave Soap. Boy, is this a nice performing shave soap. Beautiful sandalwood scent and also just makes heaps and heaps of lather. Really, really terrific. We've, we've reviewed this, we've talked about it, and we also have the uh, matching uh, lather and wood, sandalwood aftershave balm. Yeah, both of these are terrific, terrific products. Well, Chuck Price uh, gave me a heads up and said, hey, lather and wood has a three-piece safety razor. And here's what it looks like right here. There it is, right there. And as you can see, the razor head looks very, very similar to the razor head you would find on a bevel razor. Yeah, absolutely very, very similar. Now, it comes in three different styles. Uh, this is the brushed alloy. It also comes in forge gray and also nor black. Now, I happen to already shave with the forge gray version. Let me show you that one. Uh, I had a few shaves with it, and uh, the razor does come with five razor blades. Now, it comes in a sleeve package like this. Okay, and there's the Forge Gray version in there. Uh, and let me pull that out. Now, this handle is considerably longer, uh, and this razor is a little bit heavier than the one I just showed you. But uh, I've had uh, about three shaves with this. A very nice, mild, efficient razor. And again, that razor head has a striking similarity to that of the bevel razor. Okay, so I just want to let you know that I have had a few shaves with this one, and I'm going to be shaving for the first time with the brush alloy. I was so taken by the razor, I thought I'd try, um, try, the, try the brush alloy. Now, the handle is a little shorter than the Forge Gray version, and there was one other thing in the Forge Gray that I wanted to show you. Let me just show you. The handle comes off like that, and here is the base plate. The sides of the base plate kind of curl up, uh, around the cap and that will contain the end tabs of the razor blade. Now I had just a little bit of a, I don't know if it was a nick or a little bit of a, some kind of, a, I don't know, anomaly in the plating on the edge here. So all I did was polish that down a little bit. I wanted to make sure that the blade was going to sit flat against that. So I don't know what that was. It might have been a little bit of um, maybe excess plating that uh, had uh, stayed on there after the process and caused a little bit of a rise, a little bit of a bump there. Uh, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be any worse for the wear. Now, the uh, the plating on the brush alloy seems to be very, very nice. I mean, it's really, really terrific. And again, the fit and finish is very, very good. I haven't shaved with this one yet. And again, the plating on this seems very, very good. I've got, again, right here, another one of these little little anomalies. I don't know if you can see that right there. So I don't know what that is. I <laughs> I don't know what that is. And again, I think that's just a little bit, even on the other side too, just a little bit. I don't know. It's, the edge doesn't seem to be as clean as uh, you would you would like it. Um, very, very minor. I think it's more cosmetic than it is functional. But we will be, we will be using... Um, uh, this razor, and we're going to be using a Wilkinson Sword razor blade in the razor. I found these blades to be very, very good. They paired up very, very nicely with this razor. And again, these razors come with five razor blades, and while they're they're good, they're okay. 
Uh, I just felt that the Wilkinson sword was a, was a little smoother. So that's what we're going to use with the brushed alloy uh, version of the ladder and wood razor. So let me just put these uh, sleeves back on here. And again, you'll get five blades. You may like them. Uh, they might uh, be a better fit for you. I just happen to prefer the Wilkinson sword razor blade with this razor. So let me just move these boxes out of the way. And Amazon has a product page. And again, three different versions, three different finishes, brushed alloy, nor black, and forged gray. And the information here talks about how you get um, a choice of three finishes. It comes with five blades, shaves at the perfect 30 degree angle. They make a point of that. And yes, that's very, very true. It's very, very easy to find the shaving angle with this razor. And uh, alloy construction, double edge design, close comb. Uh, unscrew the top of the razor clockwise, non-slip design. I don't know if that applies to the brushed alloy uh, handle, but uh, it seems to, in the photograph that they're showing, might, might be the, the, the knurled forge gray handle that, that they're talking about. But some nice features and a really, really nice price point, less than $20. So we're going to go ahead and have a shave with it. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the brush alloy version of the lather and wood razor. I'm going to use a Wilkinson sword razor blade. I am absolutely going to use lather and wood shave soap. And uh, I'm going to finish it off with uh, a little bit of wild Avon, wild country. I think this aftershave will complement that sandalwood very, very nicely. A little bit of the lather and wood balm for upstairs. I'm going to be using my uh, Paul Gruner lathering bowl. Thanks again to Jimmy V. Boy, this is terrific. And I'm going to be using the uh, Simpson M7 uh, bowl lathering shaving brush. Thanks again also to Jimmy V for this with the butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, this is an absolutely marvelous, marvelous shaving brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out a little bit of shave soap and we'll put it in the Paul Gruner lathering bowl on the bottom. We're going to build a lather that way rather than do a brush load. Uh, I'm also going to do the Cube 2.0. I'm going to get a nice hot towel and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go through my shave prep and I will see you on the other side uh, to do the boom lather and <laughs> to lather up the face, load the razor, and get to the shave. So hang in there with me. Okay, check that out. We are right there at uh, Boom Lather. <laughs> wow, that was the right amount of shave soap to press into the bottom. I have just a little bit of a remnant right there on the bottom. So if I want to make more lather, I can go right to that. And uh, man, oh man, look at that. That <laughs> beautiful, beautiful lather. This lather and wood shave soap, really, really wonderful and a great scent. Once more, my thanks to uh, Mark Bagwell for that. We're going to go ahead and do our pre-shave lather. I want to show you one more time that I have three days worth of beard growth. 
All right, there you go. I got, <laughs> I got some good beard growth there. We're going to shave it off with the uh, lather and wood brushed alloy three-piece razor with the bevel style razor head. Let me wet the face. Let's start the uh, pre-shave lather. All right, the hot towel was great. The uh, pre-shave wash was great. Everything was great. Man, fantastic. Had a little bit of a remnant of that blemish that's been kind of hanging around. I got one over here and one over here. I don't know what that's from. Uh, they just seem to develop. I don't know why. And I, I haven't shaved. And just today, we noticed those. So I'll have to be careful shaving around them. Shaving around them. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's terrific. Cube 2.0, mentholated version. Absolutely fantastic. And here we go. We're going to paint this on. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful lather? Wow. This brush just did an awesome job in bowl lathering. I mean, look at this. Look at this lather I have here. This beautiful, rich, creamy lather with some really, really nice density. And this knot packs a lot of punch for uh, bowl lathering. It just is amazing. Now, I've got three days worth of beard growth, and this, I'm getting great, great coverage, not only from the pre shave soap, but I'm getting great coverage from this lather. So, I'm really surprised that one day's worth of growth, you know, I'd be able to paint it on a lot more quickly because there's not much beard growth there, but look at that. Look at how it's giving me some great coverage, and it's you know, softening and moistening the whisker. Doing a great job. Look at that. A lot of nice protection. And look how much I have in the bowl. And this this shaving brush is remarkable. The M7 from Simpson. My thanks again to Jimmy V for sending this along to this channel. Look at that. Look how much I have. And you wouldn't think that a knot uh, this size would pack such a punch, and it does. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal shaving brush. Definitely a favorite for bowl lathering. All right, so here's the uh, the razor, brushed alloy. We're going to open it up. And uh, again, uh, they say, uh, what do they say, non-slip grip or a firm hold or whatever they said there. I, <laughs> I can't remember, but... Um, it shouldn't slip out of the hand now. The, the, the gray forge has some nice knurling on the handle, a longer handle too. So that worked out rather well uh, as far as grip. Now here's my uh, Wilkinson Sore razor blade right here. And we're going to open that up. And I'm really looking forward to this shave. I don't like to go, you know, more than two days without a shave. Uh, but I thought, you know, I'd do this, I, I would do it this time to show you that I have some beard growth there. And also uh, to test out this razor and see how it worked with three days worth of beard growth. So there it is there. And again, the base plate with that kind of wrap around ends, those wrap around ends, goes right on there like that. Oh, that, that that's, sits in there very, very nicely. And that's nice. Okay, so you have to kind of, yeah, kind of grab the uh, the cap and the base plate like this to make sure everything's snugged up because when you're grabbing the ends, you're not grabbing the cap. You have to kind of put your finger on top of the cap there and then snug it up, make sure everything is seated, seated correctly, everything snugged up correctly. Look, balance and alignment look to be pretty darn good. It was very good on the uh, Gray Forge version. And this looks to be very good as well. All right, so here, let's heat it up with some hot, 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 hot water. And let's get to the shave. I'm uh, holding it in the water now, and as it gets wetter, it does seem to increase the grip a little bit. No kidding. Yeah. That's that's kind of neat. And it could also be that the, the slippery slickness of the soap is washing off of my fingers too, but I think there is an increase in grip as that handle's getting wet. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. 
some very, very good blade feel. And again, uh, very easy to find that 30 degree shaving angle. Very easy to find it. Okay, I'm going to be careful over here with these couple of these blemishes. I don't know why that is. Three days worth of beard growth. Yeah, a lot of blade feel. But in a good way. Good positive blade feel. Nice and smooth. Uh, but again, there's a lot of whisker there that I'm removing. I want to make sure I get all that hair there. I'm going to get that on the second pass. I'll do some cleanup on that going uh, east to west. First pass done. Uh, let's rinse. Wow, that was a good first pass. Now, I'm not in socially acceptable territory, socially acceptable shave territory, but I'm getting pretty darn close. <laughs> pretty darn close. i got to get a little bit of the hair there, and i got to get some more around the lip here. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty darn good. I mean, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to need a second pass. No doubt about it. Need a second pass. So I'm going to lay on this lather here. And, again, the scent from lather and wood uh, shave soap. Really nice. A nice sandalwood scent. Some sandalwood scents have kind of an organic, uh, organic dirt kind of scent uh, to their sandalwood. This one, not so. This one has, this one is more along the lines of a fresh sandalwood. Uh, you know, it's a little, you know, a brighter, a little brighter scent, which is what I like. And I, I'm not averse to some of the sandalwood scents that are a little more organic, have a little more of that, like I say, that that dirt quality to it. Uh, and that's a nice change, but I really like this one. This one has a real nice refined uh, gentlemanly quality to it. And look at all that nice lather. And this brush just does a great job of moving that lather around. Okay. All right, now, I suspect that this pass will be a little smoother given the fact that a lot of whisker has been removed. And I think a lot of what I was feeling was more of a, of, a, of a longer whisker being removed with this razor. That's my guess. All right, we're going to go with pass number two. We are going to go uh, east to west across the grain, and I just checked to make sure everything's snugged up, and it is. Uh, pass number two, east to west across the grain. Yeah, the second pass, much, much smoother. And again, I attribute that to uh, the first pass being a little more uh, heavily, have a little, having a little more blade feel because there was so much more whisker there to remove. Boy, right around the chin nicely.
Very nice. Very, very smooth. Much smoother on the second pass than the first pass. Again, uh, the amount of whisker, I think, was in, is in play here. Boy, that's, <laughs> that's a nice second pass. Very maneuverable in getting up underneath the nostrils and getting all those little bits. Boy, that did a nice job. And again, I want to make sure I get everything around that upper lip there. I'm just going to re-lather that a little bit. Because I don't know if I'm going to need a, a third pass, to be honest with you. <laughs> this second pass is pretty darn complete. But I want to make sure that I get um, all those little extraneous hair, the little longer hairs that might be curling, that might be curling over the lip. And again, very easy to find this 30 degree angle. You'll know when you're off and you can find that 30 degree angle very easily. And it smooths out very, very nicely. Wow. <laughs> that was a great second pass. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. The shave is done. No kidding. No kidding. Two passes, three days worth of beard growth, two passes. Wow, that was really, really nice. I do not need a third pass. Now, if I want to, you know, I could do a third pass just for the enjoyment of it. And um, I think what we're just going to do is we're just going to put a light, a light coating right here. And I think the whisker um, right here and right over here will retract. But you know what? I'm having such a great time with this razor, and it is very mild and efficient, uh, very efficient, really nicely efficient. And I like the uh, 30 degree angle. It's, it's, everything smooths out very nicely. I do want to do a, uh, a third pass uh, against the grain to see how uh, to see how it feels, how that uh, how the razor uh, uh, how the razor handles when I'm holding it as a pencil going against the grain. Uh, for my third pass. So pass number three, we're going to go south and north against the grain. Oh, that's nice. Boy, really easy to find a 30 degree angle against the grain. Oh, uh huh. Boy, that's terrific. That really, really is. And I'll just, uh, finish up like that and a little bit here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> very, very nice. I mean, most of it was completed. Most of the shape was completed after the second pass. Want to do a third pass, see how it handles. Handles very, very well against the grain. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Well, that's terrific. <laughs> what a shave that is. That's a really, really nice shave. My gosh. Well, we're going to do our two final rinses. We're going to do a hot towel to kind of kick off the uh, final rinse. And then we're going to do a, a warm water rinse and a cold water rinse. And uh, then I will be uh, back on the other side uh, to join you for the Allen Block. And we'll get the feedback and see how much zinging and how much stinging we have from this shave. So uh, I will see you then. So hang in there with me. Oh, that's marvelous. A great, great cold water rinse. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. 
Oh, that's marvelous. What a great shave. This is BBS. It's a BBS finish. Absolutely. And uh, these two blemishes right here have not been aggravated. And this one hasn't been aggravated. I don't know what's going on with that, but hey, it happens. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, get my Allen block. We're going to use the um, Phoenix Shaving Solid Allen block, and we're going to run this under some cold water. What a great shave. That's BBS. That's a BBS finish. Wow. We're going to run this under some cold water here. All right, let's see what, we, let's see what, let's see what kind of feedback we get. I was expecting a lot of zinging, to be honest with you, and I'm not getting it. I'm not getting any zinging at all. I'm getting some nice bracing from the Allen block, but I'm not getting any zinging at all. Wow, what a great shave this was. Man. Okay, maybe a minor zing right there. Maybe right here, but nothing else. I mean, very, very mild zing. Wow. Boy, that, <laughs> that's a nice smooth finish. Here's the dry dock right here. We're going to put the Allen block in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the work in uh, drying out that Allen block. My gosh, let me show you the, uh, the lather here from Gather in Wood. Look at this. Look at what we got here. Look at how wonderful this lather is. Look at, look at that. Look at that peak right there. Isn't that great? Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave. So that I scraped out just the right amount, too. It just worked out really, really well. All right, here is my um, Avon Wild Country Aftershave. This will uh, complement very nicely the sandalwood. It's not, it's not a sandalwood scent, but boy, it's got a, it's just kind of a universal aftershave scent. Uh, Mark Bagwell and some other viewers out there, uh, purchased this from the Avon site uh, after seeing my reviews of it and really, really like it a lot. Okay, so here we go. All right, we're going to let the um, alcohol evaporate a little bit, the Jimmy V method, and then we're going to slap on nothing but the good stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's a great scent to finish up. Uh, with this uh, sandalwood uh, shave soap, uh, really, if you've got, if you've got this, get the sandalwood shave soap. This will this will complement it very very well. And of course, we have a little bit of the uh, sandalwood uh, aftershave balm from Lather and Wood. I do need a head shave, but I'm going to put a little bit upstairs. About that much there, and we'll put that upstairs like this. Oh, that's nice. That's great. Great, great shave. Really terrific, terrific razor for the price point. Uh, really like both uh, versions that I have. The uh, the Gray Forge version obviously has a longer handle uh, and it is a little bit heavier. Uh, the uh, brushed alloy, very, very nice. Very maneuverable. Nice weight. I like the flared uh, handle here right at, the, right at the end, that flared tip there at the bottom. And uh, the razor head is very well made. Uh, gives you a... a uh, a, a nice maneuverability, a close shave. The 30 degree angle is spot on from what I can tell. If you're off 30 degrees, you'll know. But getting on that 30 degree angle really smooths the shave out very, very nicely. And it doesn't matter if you're going with the grain, across the grain, or against the grain. You'll find the 30 degree angle quite easily with this razor. This was really a nice shave. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I prefer the brushed alloy uh, razor a little more than I do the Gray Forge, only because I think the, uh, the shorter handle, uh, I think I just, I just like it a little bit more than the longer handle. I'll use the longer handle razor, it's nice, but this one uh, feels a little, little better in my hand. Now, if you have larger hands, you might want to get the Gray Forge version. I don't know how long the handle is on the Nor Black 
uh, finished razor. I, I have no idea what, what length handle that is. But I can tell you that this uh, brushed alloy uh, handle is a nice length for this razor head. Uh, this uh, Great Forge, a little longer, might be better for uh, folks who have a little larger hands. Uh, and uh, both razor heads shave the same. Uh, absolutely the same. Both have the same nice smoothness, the same level of, sh of efficiency. I would say this is uh, upper mild razor. It's just getting into the medium aggression uh, level. It's not quite medium aggressive, but it's just it's just approaching that area in my estimation. I think this is a daily driver. You could shave with this every single day, one day's worth of beard growth. Uh, boy, you'll be done in, well, at least for me, I'll be done in two passes. Absolutely no problem. Today's shave, I was done in two passes. I did the third pass. I got a BBS finish. Absolutely no, no, no problem at all. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Um, I think I got a little something here and here, and that was just a couple of small nicks from a previous shave, and those are healing up, and this did not aggravate it at all. So uh, that worked out really, really well. And again, those nicks were my fault, operator error, and I happened to be using the Gray Forge razor with that, and it was uh, it was my fault. I just happened to set the razor head. Uh, you know, I was doing one of these where I was uh, doing a with the grain, and uh, in coming up and moving over, the razor head was still in contact with my skin, so I got one of those little, one of those little vertical nicks, and it's healed up very, very well. As a matter of fact, I used on the Berg uh, aftershave balm, the towel-based aftershave balm, and it did a great job. And the good news here is that uh, this razor, uh, the brushed alloy version of the lather and wood razor, didn't aggravate it at all. And I think that uh, probably in about, uh, I don't know, I'd say 10 minutes, you're not even going to notice anything there. I mean, really, it's just a really nice, nice razor. Well-made, well-built, nicely plated. A couple of slight, very, very minor anomalies on the cap. I don't know what's going on there. Doesn't get in the way of the blade alignment or anything like that. But a really nice razor at a really nice price point of just under $20. So check it out. We'll have links below. I enjoy the shave with it. Uh, mild, highly efficient. Again, it's almost getting to the medium aggression range, but I think it's still a razor that can be used as a daily driver. Your mileage may vary. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady, where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.